Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin, and welcome to 2015. A new year comes with a ton of New Year's resolutions. Are you gonna try to have more fun this year? Maybe work out more? That's a pretty common one, but what exactly do we know about working out? Let's dig into the science of it all. Have you ever compared yourself to a bodybuilder and wondered how the heck did they do that? They have huge muscles, but how exactly do they grow? Well, for muscles to grow, you have to apply a load of stress heavier than what your body is used to, like lifting progressively heavier weights. The tension in your muscles created by this technique changes the muscle chemistry, allowing for growth. Feeling sore after a workout is a solid way to know that you've done some damage in a good way. After a good workout, your body starts to repair the damaged muscles by fusing muscle fibers together to form new muscle protein strands. That's a lot of muscle talk. But they increase in thickness and amount, therefore creating growth. Now what about fat? What happens to fat when you lose it? Would you believe me if I told you that you breathe it out? Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. When you metabolize fat, you are left with carbon dioxide, water, and energy. For example, to burn 22 pounds, of fat, you would need to inhale 64 pounds of oxygen. 62 pounds of carbon dioxide will be produced in this process of burning off the fat, along with approximately 24 pounds of water. Around 84% of fat that is lost is turned into carbon dioxide that leaves the body through the lungs, while the rest of it becomes water, most of which you simply pee out. That's some crazy magic right there. Now that we know what happens to fat when it's lost, it might be nice to know how calories in general are burned in the first place. Fun fact, by simply staying alive, you are burning calories. This is called the basal metabolic rate, or BMR. This alone accounts for up to 60% of calories burned throughout the day for the average person. There's also something nifty called dietary thermogenesis, or the thermogenic effect. This is when calories are burned in the process of eating and digesting food, as well as absorbing nutrients and using the food as energy. Now that you worked out your brain, go get those body muscles swollen, or burn some calories by staying alive and watching Life Noggin. Do you have a favorite way to work out? Do you even like working out at all? Leave it in the comment section below or tell us, what should we talk about next? And if you enjoyed this video, check out this D News episode on Midnight Snacking, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links are below. I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, and don't forget to keep on thinking.